The Wakjir Pass, also spelled Vikjir Pass, is a mountain pass in the Hindu Kush or Pamirs at the eastern end of the Wakhan Corridor, the only pass between Afghanistan and China. It links Wakhan in Afghanistan with the Tashkurgan Tajik Autonomous County in Xinjiang, China, at an altitude of 4,923 meters (16,152 feet), but the pass is not an official border crossing point. The border has the sharpest official change of clocks of any international frontier UTC plus 430 in Afghanistan to UTC plus 8, in China. China refers to the pass as South Wakjir Pass Chinese, Nan Hua Zhen Ji Da Ban as there is a northern pass on the Chinese side. <inaudible> Overview There is no road across the pass. On the Chinese side, the immediate region is only accessible to military personnel. A 92 kilometers 57 miles long barbed wire fence was erected on the border, and there is a Chinese border guard outpost at Kakataluke just 20 kilometers 12 miles east of the pass. In the summer of 2009, the Chinese Ministry of National Defense began construction of a new road to within 10 kilometers 6.2 miles of the border for use by border guards. The road leads through the Tagdambash Pamir to the Karakoram Highway 80 km 50 miles away. The valley to the east of Wakjir Pass on the Chinese side is called Chalachigu Valley. It is entirely closed to visitors, however, local residents and herders from the area are permitted access. The Chinese refers to it as the portion of Wakhan Corridor in China. On the Afghan side, the nearest road is a rough road to Sarhad e Wakhan, also known as Sarhad e Broghill, about 100 kilometers (62 miles) from the pass by paths. Just below the pass on the Afghan side is an ice cave at an altitude of 4,554 meters (14,941 feet). This is the source of the Wakjir River, which ultimately flows to the Amu Darya Oxus. The cave is therefore claimed as a source of the Amu Darya. Dilasing Pass, to Pakistan, is in the same valley about 20 kilometers 12 miles away. History Wakjir Pass is part of the Silk Road. It is believed that the famous Chinese Buddhist pilgrim Zanzong traveled via this pass on his return trip to China in approximately 649 AD. Traditionally, the pass is inaccessible for at least five months out of the year and is accessible irregularly for the remainder of the year. The terrain is extremely difficult, although Oral Stein reported that the immediate approaches to the pass were remarkably easy. There are few records of successful crossings by foreigners. Historically the pass was a trading route between Badakhshan and Yarkand, used by merchants from Bahawar. It appears that Marco Polo came this way, although he did not mention the pass by name. The Jesuit priest Benedict Goez crossed from the Wakhan to China between 1602 and 1606. The next oldest accounts are from the period of the Great Game in the late 19th century. In 1868, a pundit known as the Mirza, working for the Great Trigonometric Survey of India, crossed the pass. There were further crossings in 1874 by Captain T. E. Gordon of the British Army, in 1891 by Francis Younghusband, and in 1894 by Lord Curzon. In May 1906 Sir Oral Stein crossed, and reported that at that time the pass was used by only 100 pony loads of goods each way annually. Since then the only Westerner to have crossed the pass seems to have been H. W. Tillman in 1947. In 1895 the pass was established as the border between China and Afghanistan in an agreement between the British and the Russians, although the Chinese and Afghans did not finally agree on the border until 1963. It is believed that in more recent times, the pass is sometimes used as a low-intensity drug smuggling route, and is used to transport opium made in Afghanistan to China. Afghanistan has asked China on several occasions to open the border in the Wakhan Corridor for economic reasons or as an alternative supply route for fighting the Taliban insurgency. However, China has resisted, largely due to unrest in its far western province of Xinjiang, which borders the corridor. In December 2009, it was reported that the United States had asked China to open the corridor. Topic references Topic External links Wakhan and the Afghan Pamir, in the footsteps of Marco Polo, brochure of the region by Aga Khan Foundation.